Praise our glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakakwadash, Yahweh the Heavenly Father, who the Word only calls God, Yahweh Shah, the only begotten Son, who the Word only calls Jesus Christ. I'd like to say the water of thank you to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, for the Rakakwadash. The Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind these lessons. I want to give double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the rule well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the Akiyam, Wazakwanyam. All around the world, preaching and teaching his word and truth and his sincerity. Shalom on to the for a lit. Uh, all your call. With a minute about the South Carolina account coming back real quick with another uh, lesson, another quick hitter. And this, uh, harping on this article I seen uh, a couple days ago about how Philadelphia is uh, banning the ski mask. All right, and uh, you know, the ski mask is a urban fashion thing now, okay? Uh, Jake, all right, so-called Negroes, all right, the tribe of Judah, has made the uh, ski mask popular. Started with uh, a rapper out of Memphis or whatever, but nonetheless, all right, this mask has become part of Jake, a uh, little fashion tip thing, man. All right, and the, this mask has a negative connotation on it when Jake got it on because it's called a ski mask, so people wear it when they skiing in the mountains, but Jake started wearing it for fashion. And also, all right, uh, people wear it when they're committing crimes. You see uh, bank robberies and uh, different crimes like that. People wear uh, this type of mask. But like I said, Jake started doing it uh, for fashion and stuff. So Philadelphia um, uh, votes to ban the ski mask. All right, and that's targeting uh, Jake because that's who uh, wears this mask the most, okay? That's who does this little fashion tip. All right, so it's different angles I want to hit this at. Try not to ramble too much hitting these uh, little points of views. But one is that Esau Edom, okay, targets Jake's with these certain laws and legislations. Even though the uh, governor who, you know, mandated this bill, whatever, is uh, an Israelite, a Jake, a so-called Negro, um, this order still comes out from the uh, elites, man, from his bosses. He's just the face of it that's put it out there. All right, so, uh, you know, these nations, Esau, Edom, the, they target Jake with certain laws, and Jake has put a negative uh, MO on themselves. All right? Because they, I, you know, <laughs> Jake wild as hell. Jake wicked as hell. Jake do evil things, man. So, with these masks on, make it hard to point point who is the criminals and who is not. So, uh, let's harp on this. It says, Philadelphia votes to ban ski masks to decrease crime. Opponents worry it'll unfairly target some. It says, Philadelphia City Council passed legislation to ban ski masks in some public spaces. A measure supporters say will increase public safety amid high violent crime but opponents argue it will unfairly target people without proof of any wrongdoing. The legislation passed on Thursday with a 13-2 vote and now goes to Democratic Mayor Jim Kenney. A spokesperson said he would review the legislation and look forward to our ongoing work with City Council on the urgent matter of ensuring public safety. The measure would ban ski masks or balaclavas in public spaces like schools, recreation centers, parks, city-owned buildings, and on public transportation. It defines the garment as a clothes-fitting covering over the whole head with holes only for the eyes, nose, or mouth. All right? A $250 fine would be imposed against anyone who violates the law. It has ex exceptions for religious garb and protest. All right? So... Hey, they doing this to stop the uh, the uh, crime, man. And Jake has a bad M.O. of committing crime in these uh, uh, urban areas, man. Okay, these urban communities. All right. So uh, let's bring out a couple of precepts just to show you how Esau Edom can change laws, uh, come up with laws at any moment, and show how they are presidents against Jake. All right. And show how Jake has uh, put a bad M.O. on themselves. All right, so those three the, the uh, points I want to hit. 
Uh, it's Daniel 7 and 25, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. All right, so that's Esau. Even they speak great words against the Heavenly Father. All right, they wear out the saints. All right, the saints are the Israelites. All right, uh, the saints are tired, man. All right, working all the time, stressing all the time. Even so-called entertainers are uh, tired, man. So-called rich entertainers are tired. They be taking uh, breaks and all that. So how much more regular nine to five working, Jay? All right, the saints are worn out from the oppression of being in Babylon the Great. It says, and thanks to change times and laws. All right, well, we just had a couple weeks ago what the daylight savings. You saw Edom thinks they could change uh, time. All right, and laws. They they first and foremost changed the laws of Yahweh by Shimei Shah. They called good evil and evil good. Okay, they changed the laws of uh, letting the alphabet community uh, do what they want to do. All right. Okay. Um, it says, and they shall be given to his hand until a time and times and the dividing of times. All right, so this is hoping on Esau Edom, man. All right. And that's who think they, uh, the Heavenly Father, think they can tell everybody what to do, tell everybody what to wear. When Esau, Edom, the biggest damn criminals in the world, man. They took a nation of people, enslaved them, and uh, made them do free labor to build up their society. So who's the biggest criminal? A Jake uh, uh, stealing the candy bar at the store? Or Esau, Edom? Deuteronomy 28 and 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed, because thou because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. So we are under subjection. Okay, we are under the foot of Esau Edom where they can come and create laws and dictate what we do, even down to what we wear. Because we are under the curses of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. That's how these heathens are over us, man. That's how they face on a dollar bill and not our face. That's how they uh, uh, can make come and say a law, man, and sign it in. Because we are under these curses. That's why they look at us as uh, thugs, niggas, okay, uh, uh, spicks, okay, gangsters, okay, robbers, thieves. The killers, they look at Jake like that because we are under these curses, all right? And our eyes evil towards one another. So it and it is hella crime that Jake do in these in the cities, man. And these masks uh make Jake feel like uh they can get away with it. But like I said, now it's a, a, a fashion tip thing also because you can have a 12-year-old, 13-year-old wearing this mask, okay, just because he's seen an entertainer do it. And this kid might not do nothing wrong, but Esau Edom might come up and blow him away just because he uh, thinks that uh, the kid is doing something wrong. Well, let's continue on. It says, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and a wonder and upon thy seed forever. All right, so the, these curses are going to be upon us until Yahweh Shah returns. All right, that's when the curses are going to be uh, lifted up off of us. All right. Because thou servest not the Lord thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. So we're going to be under these curses. All right, and we are, un are, are under these curses because our forefathers, okay, which is us too. All right, did not hearken to the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahshua, did not follow the law, statutes, and commandments. We worship other gods. So, therefore, we are under these curses, under this, uh, under the rule of Esau Edom, man. All right. And like I said, they think Jake is thugs, criminals, killers, thieves. All right. Because Jake has a bad MO on that self. Let's get that real quick. Let's get M.O. All right. This, uh, the word is uh, modus operandi. All right. And I'm going to read it right here first. It says modus operandi is a Latin term used in English speaking circles to describe an individual's or group's habitual way of operating, which forms a discernible pattern. 
All right, and the M.O. of Jake, all right, the M.O. of Jake is wow, still kill, uh, gang bang. Jake has caused a uh, bad M.O. to be bought upon themselves, but it's because we are under those curses. Jake got a bad M.O., man. It says, uh, modus operandi is a Latin word, which means method of operating. It is used by law enforcement agencies to refer to a criminal pattern or behavior of his or her way of committing a crime. All right. And Jake M.O. All right. Even without the mask is to be wild. So Jake M.O. with these masks on is that they can do crimes and get away with it. All right. But, uh, you know, it's just it's just all. We just need Yahweh by Shimmy Asha to come get things in order, man. All right, because it's prejudice of Esau Edom, it's racist of Esau Edom. But at the same time, Jake give themselves a bad MO, man. Okay? Let's uh, grab one more real quick. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whither Yahweh shall lead thee. And that's where Jake has become, man. A proverb and a bower nigga. Thug. Okay? Uh, even the Hispanic tribes, the Northern Kingdom, they are looked at as uh, thugs too. Killers too. Okay? So uh, I just wanted to harp on that. Seeing that article it was on my spirit to harp on that. Call Halal Yahweh Shimmy Al Shai. Shalom.